Welcome to part two of my crazy little Knick adventure. If you didn't see part one, I've made my way through an evergreen forest full of blowdowns, across streams, shoulder deep oh fans, thrown myself over walls, lost my drone, and got pretty tired out on the ankle breaking slopes of Ye Ardu. But I did find the cave that I was looking for, and I had a lovely and cozy night with gorgeous views of Knick from the cave entrance. I spent four hours searching for my lost drone the next day, I never found it and I ran out of time to start the ascent of Knick. So I made a new plan. Hi guys, I'm here in a beautiful evergreen forest on the slopes of Year I Do. So the plan is I'm going to stop here, have my lunch, get some water and then with any luck we're going to head up that way and have a nice summit camp tonight. I am hoping today is going to be a bit easier than yesterday because today we're celebrating World Bear's first birthday. Yay! It seems to be a theme with this trip, so as you can probably guess, things didn't quite go to plan. Woo! Oh, amazing. How's that for a lunch spot? I love hanging out here. It's so pretty. Oh, I just love evergreens. But time's getting on, so I think we should try and get up this little peak now. It must be from one o'clock now. Not seen a single other person today. How good is that? Beautiful. Sorry, trees. <laughs> this is an extreme extremely difficult for us to get through with all the blowdowns and whatnot. So I think we just keep heading in a general up direction and hope for the best. Okay. Down there. Out of the forest and oh that's a sharp tree my legs are so scratched up we've got to head over some of this really horrible ground now again then we can start sort of doing a bit of scrambly stuff that is the fifth tick i've seen since i've been here horrible things that actually driving me mad on this trip it's sort of put me off doing pathless trips actually this one
Ruby tonight. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> I bailed due to what can only be described as a traumatic tick experience. So got to the summit. First thing I did when I got there is I took all my clothes off and checked myself over for ticks and found 30 or 40 bites on my legs. I mean, ticks are my worst nightmare. The most I've ever found on myself is four or five, I think, on Snowden. So to find that many, and they were so hard to see as well because they were so tiny. I spent ages getting them all off, checking myself over and over and over. Obviously, I've not been able to check my back. I tried with a mirror, but I couldn't see properly, but I think my back was covered. I've checked all my bits, you know, with a hand mirror. Yeah, it was really, really horrible. So once I felt like I'd got them all off and I was okay, and I just thought I'd check on the weather again, and it had changed to say that it was just gonna rain all night. And as you can probably hear, it is now chucking it down. I mean, usually if I'm doing a bivy and it started to rain, I'd move lower down where there's like some ground that I could put the tarp up. But with the tick situation, what it was, I didn't want to. And I didn't want to be up there in the rain in a bivy bag. And I am so glad I bailed. I'm just so glad. I can't put into words how glad I am that I am here in my car. <laughs> it was just awful. I mean, I got down that mountain, I think I had two hours until it was gonna get dark. So I got down it in about two hours over all that horrible ground. Thankfully, well, there's still light and it just started getting dark when I was coming through the forest, the crazy forest and then started raining as well. And so as I was coming through the ferns on the way down, I looked down and has, I'm not exaggerating, 20, 30 ticks on my waist bag. I would look at my legs and there would be ticks walking up my legs. And it was to the extent that like, if I ever wanted to tuck my hair behind my ears or scratch my face or anything, I had to look at my arms and hands and see were there ticks on me and was I gonna transfer them to my face? And it was honestly, it was really distressing. I've never known anything like that. I was like whacking stuff on trees. Oh my God, it was honestly absolutely horrendous. I've, I don't know what's going on there. I wish they'd all die. You know, I don't wish that on many <laughs> creatures, but I wish ticks would die. Oh. Anyway, so back at my car, the first thing I did when I got to my car was just strip off completely chucked everything in a bin bag luckily I kicked them in the car and done it all up and I chucked my shoes in a bin bag and tied that up so maybe I should just burn all my clothes that's what I feel like doing making a bonfire so yeah I'm in my lovely dry clean clothes and dry little shoes that I bring with me on these trips so that when I get back to the car I've got nice stuff so I've checked myself over again I didn't have any more it's because when I came down I'd put so many layers on um, nothing got me so yeah lesson learned wear layers all the time if you're off a trail the problem I have is I overheat I overheated really badly coming down um, I don't know what the answer is there really I'm gonna go home I'm gonna stop at McDonald's halfway home and I'm gonna get myself in the shower and I'm gonna obsessively check myself for ticks for days and I'm gonna get other people to check me for ticks for days yeah, so Wild Bear's first birthday celebrations didn't go quite as planned. It turned out my one year video was a fail. And that's actually fine because it was due. I mean, before I started the channel a year ago, I'd have quite a few times that I would bail for whatever reason, even my gear failed or I just didn't feel right or I was too cold or, you know, the location wasn't right, whatever. And I've had this whole year since I started the channel and really nothing's gone wrong, not to the extent where I felt like I couldn't do it. So yeah, I think it's kind of cool that my one year video is a fail. There is nothing wrong with bailing. If you don't feel right about the situation, if your gut is telling you something's not right, you should definitely bail. And everything is a learning experience. It's not a fail at all, it's a bail. And they happen. So yeah, that's what happened. Slightly traumatized, but I'm okay. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my bail video and thank you so much for watching me for one year now I can't believe it's been a year already it's gone really fast and I've loved it apart from the tips I've not loved that but um, yeah I appreciate all of you so much you guys who have been here since the start and you guys who are new to the channel as well thank you so much for watching it means the world to me that I get to do something 
that I love and um, that you enjoy too. So thank you. And I will see you again next time for hopefully something a bit more successful. <laughs> Take care guys. Bye. Yeah.